Yes. If you guys are ready, we can go ahead and get started. We can get started a little bit early. I want to thank all the uh, media for coming in today. We're here, obviously, to announce where Cyrus Hobby is going to attend college. It's been quite a process for Cyrus. I'll just start this thing off by letting you know Cyrus started for us as a sophomore on our 2008 championship team and has done an unbelievable job all the way through. The recruiting process is difficult when you have this many offers. You're an Under Armour All-American, Army All-American. All of those things come into play. A lot of people are really fond of you and are trying to get you to come. So I'm going to open it up to the media and those of you who want to ask Cyrus questions. We're joined here by Cyrus's brother, Zach Hobby, and Cyrus's family's here as well. So we're just going to do this informal, open it up to ask whatever questions you guys would like. Uh, we'd, we'd like for it to begin by Cyrus indicating where he's going and, you know, that whole deal. We, we, we need to know that process for us. I'm with you, Coop. I've been dying for this, so I'm with you. Well, let's get started. Um, I want to start out by saying thank you to everybody for uh, coming by and helping me through this process. Um, I want to do this press conference um, not for myself, but for, you know, my, my team and my family and this great schools and great people that have been involved in this. Um, it's been a long, long process. Coach Sanders can tell you that. My family can tell you that. But also, very, I've enjoyed this very much. It's a very good problem to have. Um, every school I've been so impressed with that I've been to, and I just, it's been such a hard decision for me. Um, I want to thank my friends and family for uh, helping me get through this, and my brother here for being with me on all the trips, you know, kind of like my little sports manager here. Um, and my, my family and friends and football team getting the state championship again. That, uh, that's always good to end the season on that. Um, the guys I've been training with, uh, Coach Chris Chick and Kyle Caldwell, <laughs> they've uh, definitely helped me get prepared for this um, for the past four years. Um, I couldn't get through high school without them. And uh, let's see, what coach am I in there? Oh, yeah, this guy right here. <laughs> He's, uh, you know, we've, we've grown pretty close over the past couple of years. And um, he told he warned me when I was a freshman this was going to happen one day. Uh, I didn't believe him, but it's, <laughs> it's here now. So I appreciate all he's done and uh, everything like that. But um, we are here to know where I'm going to school. So uh, I think my brother's got the hats in his jacket, so if you can hand me. By next year, I'll be attending the University of Southern California. And be sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, very difficult decision with all the uh, all the schools I've had to choose from. Um, very impressed with all the coaches. Had a great time meeting everybody. But at the end of the day, um, when I went out there to USC, I just I knew it was a place for me. Walking out to the Coliseum, seeing all these great great players I'm going to be playing with soon, and this recruiting class that they're getting, we're gonna we're gonna be good in the next couple of years, and we're gonna start winning games. So. I'm very excited and I'm very confident in my uh, my decision to go to USC. So I uh, appreciate appreciate everyone being here. It's been uh, it's been a fun ride. So. Did you know right after your official visit to USC that that was going to be the place, or was there a process after that? Well, I'll tell you, my family and coach can tell you. I think after every visit, I think I said I was going to commit there. Um, for I've five, heard that. <laughs> all five visits, I had the last place syndrome when I was at. So. Um, I, obviously, I felt it there, and then I came, you know, went to UCLA, thought I was going to go there, and then just sat down with my family after it was all done and talked about what I wanted to do, what was best for me, and it was, without a doubt, you know, USC was high above both those other schools, and I um, couldn't be more happy and more confident in my choice. So. Can you just kind of tell us what USC did to kind of turn things around with you? Because, you know, during the spring, you went on an unofficial visit to USC, and you were pretty disappointed. Yeah. Well, I talked to them about that too, and I was uh, 
you know, I had a, the only thing I had a problem with with, with USC was the coaching staff when I went out there. Um, we had, uh, you know, we kind of got up on the wrong foot when I went out there. And, um, but, you know, they made up for it, and they apologized. I didn't even tell anything. They, they made up for it, and I went out there, got really good relationship with all the coaches, and uh, we had a good, you know, good talk with each one. And it just turned right around. I just saw all the tradition and the All-Americans and Heismans and all the guys that put in the NFL. And all the tradition they have there is just unbelievable, amazing. So it's a big turnaround. Just to, and not only that, but just it's just it's a great school itself. And that's you know one of the big things I'm looking forward to, to get a degree from the University of Southern California. Cause it's a pretty impressive deal. So. Hey, Cyrus, from a local standpoint, you, you know Sun Devil Nation was just absolutely on you. They wanted you yeah. in maroon and gold. Can you talk to that process, how they uh, eliminated? Yeah, that was that was probably one of the tougher uh, things to do was to um, not go to ASU. Um, a lot of guys, uh, a lot of coaches I've worked with and teammates and old teammates that are there now that I used to play with, everyone bugged me to go to ASU, I think. You know, a lot of people expecting me to go to ASU, and I just, I guess I just wanted to change. I just wanted to do something new and just make a statement and, uh, you know, be, be somewhere new, University of Southern California. And like I said, I couldn't be happier with my decision. And I think it's a great choice, and ASU is a great school. And after I went there, uh, after I went there on my official, I probably said I was going to commit there too. But, you know, once I sat down and figured everything out, I know now I made the right choice, and you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss, miss all my friends and teammates and stuff. But you know, I'm, I know I'll see them around, so I'm not worried about that. Cyrus, when did you know for sure? Probably this past week. <laughs> I kept, I uh, kept switching, you know, kept switching on and off with uh, last yesterday. Yesterday, <laughs> I mean, last night. I just, I, like I said, I, every day I was like, all right, I'm going here, I'm going there. My parents and coach were, they always gave me crap. They're like, oh, this, this again. <laughs> I mean, so I put, I, you know, once I, I, I woke up last night and just, I just felt it in my heart and I just knew. I, I was like, all right, I'm going to be a Trojan. I'm going to do it. I want to do it. And I'm, I, like I said, couldn't be happier. And all those other uh, athletes, recruits that are thinking about being a Trojan, you guys should come here and join us. Let's go win some games. When did you inform USC? Uh, I called them just before I came here. Okay. I let them know and they're ecstatic and happy and just like, you know, so they're pretty excited, as well as I am. So I'm excited to get out there and get this ball rolling. You know, Postseason ban, some scholarship uh, reductions and things of that nature, that obviously didn't affect or bother you. Can you speak to that? Yeah, that didn't uh, bother me too much. You know, I obviously, you know, going their first year, we won't go to a bowl game. But, um, you know, these coaches have explained to me, um, they just said we're going to be playing 51 games to 52 <laughs> throughout my a college career, and that didn't bother me too much. The scholarships-wise, they're uh, you know they're loading up on talent. I mean, I think they got top five recruiting class this year, and they got a lot, a lot of good guys coming in. Um, most of them, a lot of all guys better than me, and so I like being in that environment. You know, guys that are much better than me, making me better, and uh, they're going to be good. You know, they they're just like I said, loading up this year, and then they'll you know carefully pick the next couple of years of recruiting class, and they're going to go. Uh, we're going to win some championships. You know, I can't think of the gentleman's name from Tucson, who's their starting center. Uh, Chris O'Dowd. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, uh, they made a position change with him there. Uh, have they talked to you likewise about any type of position change, or do you know what position that they're recruiting you for? Yeah, they're um, they're recruiting me for guard, guard or center. Um, I know they're they're not they don't have a lot of people in that position, so they're you know they've been recruiting me pretty hard for that. Um, but most other schools are recruiting me for a guard and or center. And uh, I don't, you know, I'm happy to play wherever. I'll, I'll just put me on the field. I'll play offense, defense. I actually want to play quarterback, but they're going to let me do that. So I'll stick with offensive line, and um, I'll see what happens, you know, whether playing early is an option or registering. I'll, whatever helps the team is what I'm going to do. And playing guard, playing early helps the team, and I'm all for it. You touched on it a little bit, but how much does the prestige of USC kind of factor in? <coughs> it definitely factors in. Just like I said, when I walked out, um, walked out on that field, walked out on the Coliseum, I just, I was, you can ask my family, I was blown away. I was uh, blown away by just 
just walked in here and it, it just felt unreal. It doesn't even, it just was like, it's a dream come true just to be able to know that I'm going to be a Trojan. And it just seems so unreal. I could never have pictured this, you know, a couple of years back. And it's just a great, great feeling. And just a, just to gonna be part of a, such a winning tradition and part of a great, great uh, academic school and tradition as well. You've mentioned your family quite a bit in this press conference here. Were, did they have a say in your, your decision, or did they uh, disallow to you to make that decision and support whatever it was that decision would be? My family has been very, very supportive, and I've been so happy with them. They, have, they haven't tried to influence me to go anywhere. I mean, they're, they're really like me. They like they liked every school, too, and they, they want to go everywhere, too. So. They haven't been influencing me to go anywhere uh, in particular, but when I got in the car with my parents and I told them I want to be a Trojan, a big smile fell on their face, came home, told my brother and sister, and they all got happy. And so they've been very, very supportive throughout this process. And I don't, I don't know what, what would have happened if I didn't have them. So very thankful for them. What are you going to study? Um, I'm looking, right now I'm looking at a theater, um, trying to maybe get into acting, um, we'll see how that works out. Does, did that play in, Hollywood? Being that, in? They, and that was another thing that factored in, you know, going down to Southern California, they had a very, very good theater school, um, very good film school, and it was pretty, they took it, gave us a tour on that, and that was really awesome to see, and um, that's, that's definitely something I'm looking at, too, to study when I was there, so that, you know, that's another thing that helps in my commitment. What are your thoughts on the new training facilities that uh, they're going to be building? Oh, those are awesome. They showed us a preview. I think they said something like 75 million or something going into it. Um, I think they just tore down the old weight room and they showed us a preview of the new one and it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. And I'm glad to be going in there, going into a new, you know, a new facility. New. They're going to be the best in the world, so that's going to be awesome. Yeah.